Hi, I'm Dr. Justine Shuey. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this flamingo string art craft. First thing we're going to do is we're going to choose a nail and tie a double knot around that nail. We'll clip the end off and then take the string and we are going to wind it around uh, the outer edge. So I'm looping around each individual nail and then going to the next one. Looping around the nail, going to the next one. I'm going to go around the entire shape that I'm trying to fill in with this color. Then I'm going to start going from one nail to another where it's not the nails directly next to them, so rather across from them. And right now you see I'm going back and forth to the same nail and then the one next to it and just sort of making my way over. And then I'll go in a different direction to fill in the string as much as possible. So it's sometimes helpful if you stick your finger over top of the nail of the last one you did. Uh, in order to hold the string onto it while you tighten it up. But you just go through and you choose two different nails to wrap around and you just keep wrapping the string around until you think that that section is good and full. Once that section is full, you're gonna choose another nail and you are gonna double knot the string on that nail and then clip the excess string. So I don't want too, too much on there. If I put too much string on there, sometimes it becomes very difficult to uh, nail, uh, or, or to wrap the string rather around the nail. So you're gonna fill it in as much as you want and the more string that's on there, the more difficult it gets, but I clipped it down and I'm just gonna tie a double knot as tight as I can around uh, one of the nails and tie that around, make it nice and tight. Uh, sometimes I'll do some extra knots if I still have a lot of string and then clip that down. So I have the center section filled in at this point. Now what we're gonna do next is choose another color of string. So I'm gonna go with the legs next on this and I'm using the orange string. I started at the nail closest to the body but it really doesn't matter uh, what, uh, where you start as long as you go on the pattern lines. Now for the legs, I'm gonna do those with two separate pieces of string. Um, you could, you know, wrap it underneath between the two legs right at the body, uh, but I thought it came out a little nicer if I did them separately. Uh, so I wrap through those separately for that. And I'm just winding the string around until it looks good and full, and then wrapping around the foot as well, and going between one to one uh, across and filling in all that area so the foot looks nice and thick and then I'm going to double knot that one as well and start a new section. So I will, uh, when I'm done filling that all in the way I want it, I'm gonna tie that double knot. Now, it is possible to pull your nail out uh, if you pull too tight. So I pull the nail out by mistake and I'm pushing it back in, I'm just making sure it's all rewinded up and I'm double knotting it again and then I will clip that one and start a new string for the other leg in the same color orange. So I started with that light pink in the center. I've got the orange on the one leg. I'm going to do this orange on the other leg and it's the exact same process. Again, what you're doing is you're just wrapping around one nail to another. You can knot as much as you want. Be careful of the excess string uh, that you're pulling from. Uh, it does sometimes get tangled up into other nails, so something to just be cautious of and be aware of. Uh, I had a string come loose, so I went back to uh, clip that up, and now I'm rewinding that second leg and going, it's going to cross over the other leg and filling it all in, making sure the leg itself, so I wrap around the outside first generally, and then I'll fill in the inside shape. Uh, I'll clip it down because it makes it a little easier to knot if it's been clipped down and double knot it. Sometimes you need something to help poke it through there to um, be able to get it where you need it to go if your string's kind of short uh, or it's in a tight area. These are a little more difficult when the nails are really closer together. So I tie that off uh, really well and double knot it and then I will switch colors again. So for this flamingo here, because it's some layering that's happening with some of the colors and it's not all just one string, I want to do the uh, other sections that are that would naturally sit behind first um, and then that's why I'm going to do the darker pink last 
So that's sort of in front of everything uh, and stands out more. So I've got my legs done. I've got my uh, center of the body done. I'm going to grab another piece of string now to do uh, those four knots or, or four nails rather that are just at the uh, top part of the beak uh, and then the beak itself will be uh, black. So I'll go through and there's only a few um, nails here so it won't be very full but I'll go through and fill it the best I can and then knot it off. Uh, this is a quick section and then the black section is the same thing. Uh, I'm going to go through and fill it around and then fill it in and then knot it and clip it. So I need just a little bit for this black and uh, I decided because it's such a small area it'd be easier to start with just a clipped piece of black and I'm wrapping that around <clears throat> and again double knotting that and making sure the knot is really secure. That first knot was not and so it came right off and I had to redo that there. So clip it down and wrap around that section filling that in all with that black and it won't take much string to do it so I know when I first looked at some of these kits I'm like oh that doesn't look like a lot of string I should definitely conserve and be mindful I can assure you you have more than enough string in any of these colors uh, to fill it in any way you want so do not worry about running out of string at all while you're completing this project. So at this point I've done four different sections. So I did the, the center of the body, the legs, the top of the beak, and the base of the beak. So now I'm going to go in with uh, the uh, dark pink color and attach it to all the rest of the nails. So I want to do that outer shape first. So I'm wrapping around each nail individually and looping around and I'll go up tracing out the entire shape of the body uh, and again going wrapping all the way around those nails. If you want you could do additional knots to make it more secure uh, but you can also just wrap around. So for now I'm just wrapping around the individual nails and going through. And again the closer they are together the more difficult it is. Um, I've done the outer shape so now I'm going to wrap in and uh, do the interior part of the body so that I have a good spot to attach to. So I'm going through and wrapping around the inside and then I'll go in and go nail to nail from the inner body to the outer body and from one side of the neck to the other alternating where I'm going to fill in that color and give my flamingo more shape. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You look at the pattern of the nails and you decide what colors you want where, and then uh, you just sort of attach from nail to nail on the inside. You can go to the one directly next to it. You could go back and forth. You could fill it in any way you want, uh, as long as you're going in and filling that color in. So I'm wrapping up the neck right now and going around the top, and then I'll wait, make my way down again and fill it in some more. So I'll wrap the other direction on the bottom uh, of the body between the center and the legs and then go up and around again. As you put more string on there it's uh, be going to become more difficult to wrap around so sometimes you'll need to uh, sort of hold the string on there until you get to another one uh, and sometimes it gets a little tangly so just use caution there. Um, but fill in that area and wrap it all around and soon enough you will have your flamingo. You're going to end this whenever it looks full and thick and you're going to tie it with a double knot uh, at the end at your end point wherever you want to finish it. So whenever you think it looks good and full just double knot it and you are done. So uh, easy as that. You've completed your flamingo string art craft. I hope you've enjoyed this.